Much loved neighbor dies and leaves this shocking surprise for the family next door. When you move into a new house, you don't always know what you're getting with your neighbors. Nightmare neighbors are rare, but when it happens, it can turn your world upside down. Thankfully, there are people like Ken Watson who made his new neighbors, the Williams family, feel very fortunate from day one. Little did they know the big surprise he would leave them, something that ensured that this sweet Welshman stayed in their hearts forever. Ken spent most of his life living in the town of Barrie in Wales. The father of two had a fascinating past and was something of a daredevil, having completed several parachute jumps in the 80s and even tried wing walking, according to Sherably. When the Williams family moved into the house next door, Ken was 83 years old and up a 20-foot ladder on the first meeting. The retired commercial deep sea diver was a delight to live next door to, but then, sadly, his wife died and Ken became a recluse locking himself away for days on end, the Sherably article said. The Williams family decided to try and spend more time with Ken to help him through his grief, knowing what a lovely man he was. He became like another family member, and Ken was so grateful for his caring neighbors. When Carolyn and Owen Williams discovered they were pregnant, they couldn't wait to share the news with Ken. Ken was overjoyed and started to look forward to life more with the prospect of spending time with the new baby. In 2017, Katie was born and Ken was so happy for Carolyn and Owen. The baby girl even reminded him of his own daughter who has grown up now. When Katie was just a toddler, tragedy struck and Ken passed away. The Williams family was so distraught to lose the neighbor they cared so much for. A few days before Christmas, Owen Williams answered the door to Ken's daughter holding a big sack. She explained that Ken had known he hadn't had long to live and had spent his last few days buying presents, enough for Katie to open one every year until she was 16. The first of the gifts from Ken was opened and it was the children's book Christmas Eve at the Melops. Every time Owen and Carolyn read this book with their daughter, they'll be reminded of their sweet neighbor, Ken. Please share to pay tribute to all the people out there who go above and beyond to be good neighbors. The world needs more people like Ken.